Welcome back. In this demonstration, we're going to be making the foundation, or the part that holds up your house, the stairs that go up to the porch, and the, the square rectangular form for the door. So here's my finished picture, so you can see those three components. And here's the other example, so you can see the three components here. Here's the foundation, it's longer. Here's the stairs, and then here's my rectangle for the door. And this top here is rectangular, different from the first one. So first things first, the foundation. All right, here's my drawing kind of halfway done. The foundation should be about half the distance of your main first floor. So if this is my first floor, you're going to cut that distance in half, and that's about how big your foundation should be. All right, it's basically a rectangle. Very simple. Okay, the steps coming down, this is a horrible picture of it. We want the steps to look larger and three dimensional as they come down. So I'll show you how to do that. And then the door, we're just going to make a basic rectangle. And then on top of that, you can add, you know, decorative things like a pointed arch or other kinds of trim. If you look in your style guide notes, you'll see the different kinds of doors. This is a, just a one. Uh, one piece door and it's got different decorations on it and you can kind of see the foundation here which is on a on a slant like this hill this is on a hill uh here's this one which has a one uh one piece door and then like two glass panes on either side and you can kind of see the stairs there and the foundation is this bottom piece here that goes from the ground up to where the door would be and our last example you can see this this one has the porch here with the foundation underneath and this part right here would be the foundation and then you can see the stairs again going up to the front of the house so we left off with our demonstration looking something like this all right so my original first story was this big if i have that i'm almost off the edge of my paper so if you are like struggling with the size of your paper you can make your foundation ever so small um, you can make it just a little bit smaller, okay? So I'm actually going to take a line right above here. I want a nice, um, even horizontal line. So I'm going to lay out my ruler. Again, this is a house, so all your lines should be straight, horizontal, or vertical. No diagonals, really. And there's the bottom of my foundation. That's where the house actually meets the ground. Then I'm going to extend this wall down to the foundation and extend this wall down to the foundation so that I have a nice continuous line along this wall and I have my foundation down there. All right, it's basically just a rectangle. At this point, I'm going to take the time to erase this border. If you have not erased your border or any of your X's from your, um, from your roofs, we can erase those now. The border was just there originally to kind of keep you um, keep you from going too far out of it and making your house either too big or too small or in the wrong place. So you can erase that now if you need to or want to. Um, then it'll be less confusing as we go forward for the rest of our, our drawing. All right. So um, now we've got our foundation and now we're going to add the door or the stairway. The stairway should be wherever you want your door to be, obviously, right? The stairs, if you want your door on the side, put your stairs on the side. If you want it in the middle, great. If you want it on the other side, wherever you're going to have your door. So I'm going to, again, put my door just kind of like right there to follow my previous demonstration. And you're going to make just a rectangle. I'm going to use my ruler here, and I'm going to estimate about how long my stairs are going to be. Now, your first stair coming down off the line here. This line is going to be like your porch where you would stand, right? So that line is the first line that your stairway would come down from. Then this second line here is going to be the next stairway. So you're going to take another one, another stair, and you're going to try to make this space and that space pretty close to the same size up and down. Then you want your stairs just to hang over a little bit like that so that it appears that your stairs are coming towards you and being three-dimensional okay and I'm gonna erase that little line there in just a minute then I'll make my next horizontal line here like this and my next horizontal line all the way down to the bottom of the foundation because obviously the stairs have to go all the way down to the ground 
which is what you want. And you can kind of barely see that line because I double double crossed over that line there. And then I'm just going to put these vertical lines here and here, here and here, so that those stairs appear to be getting larger as they come down. Then I'm just going to erase these left over hanging over lines right here so that my stairs look nice and crisp on the edge. Okay, because you don't want to have those lines going out into the decorative parts of your foundation. <sighs> Alright, so there's the stairs. And then your door. Your door is going to go right above your stairs. Wherever you've got your stairs, you're going to put your door right above that. And your door should be just a little shorter than where your roof line is. So, you know, don't make your door go all the way up to here. I'm going to make my door about that high. Okay, and however high your door is, is going to set how big the windows should be and how big the people on the inside would be. All right, so if I just take this and I draw a straight line across. Remember, draw gently because you might have to erase as we go through. Um, and then draw your straight lines down so they meet up with your stairs. Typically, the stairs are as wide as a door. So you can just line your stairs right up with the door like that and right up with the door like this and we'll paint those different colors which will then you know determine the side the the way that they look sorry that line's a little bit crooked all right and so that that'll determine the difference between the door and the stairs all right then i'm just going to erase these lines that are hanging over there and that will be your door. Now, if you want to have a door that's a double door like mine, like two French doors that open out, you can choose that. Or you can just p choose the one piece door, um, f like this one here from our demonstration models. And I'm choosing this kind of double, double sided door there. All right, so choose what kind you want. If you want a double door, like I have in my demonstration, you would just kind of divide your door in half, kind of eyeball it or measure it if you want to, and then draw that line down the center so that you have that door kind of divided in half. And I'm actually going to put on the little doorknob. The doorknob's usually about halfway up the door. Sometimes it's a little bit lower depending, um, but it usually is about halfway. I'm going to put a little rectangle on for the plate of the doorknob handle and then put the little doorknob on. In the next video when we start making the windows and the trim around we'll take care of the door and the trim that would go above it because you can see in this final demonstration here you can see the trim that's going around the door. All right, So we'll, we'll fix that up, we'll put that back on once we do the stuff around the windows. So that's another detail. So don't do all those extra details. The only thing we want is the foundation, which is a rectangle, the stairs, which are rectangles getting larger as they get closer to the ground, and another rectangle for just the plain basic door. And that concludes how to make those three elements for our Victorian house project.